Welcome back to Tabletop Fives. Today, we are looking at Age of Eon by Giza Games. Yeah. Adam, what's your take on this game? Okay, so this is an awesome two-player deck battler where you assume the role of one of four factions. You got Taka, Infernia, Yokoshino, and one other one. I do not remember <laughs> what that yellow color yellow, is. Yellow, green, blue, and red. Yeah, and I don't remember what that yellow <laughs> color is, to be completely honest. I could look really quick. It is a 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, come on. You could have ah, remembered it. But essentially, you're taking on this like empire, and you're battling against the other empire for the eternal still. Right. So with this game, you're going to lay it out with three different lands that you're trying to conquer. And some of these could be your homelands, your own color, but some of them Which would not be. Which is helpful. And they have different alignments. They have either a magical alignment or a physical alignment. Right. And you're going to have a hand of cards, and you're going to be playing out three cards deep on each land, yep. maximum, in order to see who has the highest power on each land. And whoever does will take that land. It's a two out of three victory. Right. And you play over the course of a number of rounds, removing your leaders which have special abilities each time you lose and whoever loses all their leaders loses the game and your empire assumes the throne yeah. the other yeah. the person who won yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean and it's really fun so you have a deck of 10 cards you draw seven mm -hmm. and the cool part is there's manipulation on each one oh. each card does whatever flips the other opponent's card flip your opponent's card you have on each card you have power how much that card's worth. Mm -hmm. If you get to the threshold or above your like knight, your queen, or your king, like character, special person, you can then exhaust it, tap it, whatever you want to call it, to use their mighty force ability and lay waste, hopefully, if you do it correctly, <laughs> to your opponent. Right. So. And so it seems like kind of a basic, uh, uh, a straightforward game, but there's really actually a lot of manipulation and a lot of planning yeah. and forefront thoughts. When to play the card, mm -hmm. when not to play the card. Right. So we both played, we both were waiting to play our tens, right? Yes. And because we both had each other's, each our own ones. Yes. And the one says, if someone plays that 10, you can then crush the 10 right. with your one. So we're both just sitting there <laughs> holding out to play our tens and we right. both jacked up right so you have the tens then you have other cards which like i said flip your opponent's cards yeah so it's how much do you play out and what do you flip versus what do you hold on to for that special time right then there's uh if you play your cards face down up to two different cards you can place a uh, sacred seals. sacred seal sacred seals blocked which you block one of yeah. your lo opponent's locations yeah and because they can only go three cards deep in any one land you can Tiny. fully block a certain area so again there's a lot of how much do I play versus how much do I hold back in my hand? Right, and then yeah. like the timing of that because you can jack things up. Right. And then so if you lose the battle, your leader dies yeah. or gets banished for the PG version. <laughs> and or they don't because you won and they stay on leading your right. company into battle to the next fight. Right. So the powers are 1 to 10. Yes. I hope we mentioned that. And with your uh, with your colors, with your characters, they have asymmetric abilities. Right. So for the leaders, for the blue, they're all about tapping your opponent's cards. Yeah. So they're additional card manipulation from that perspective. Right. The red is all about destruction. That's who I was. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna destroy cards. They're going to remove them from the game. You have yellow, which is the one I played, which is about a card ten. moving stuff out. So they're going to have uh, a, a power card in one location. They're going to move it to a different location. Right. And then you have green. We're going to play with green. Uh, uh, it's kind of interesting. They're about protection. So they'll give additional cards uh, bonus power yeah. and lock them in place so they can't be moved. Wasn't back. the one one of their cards was like gain six power? For all flip cards. For all flip yeah, cards well, at like, the lots. end of the round. Yeah. Like, now you have to like think about... <laughs> Like, oh, just because I've won the area doesn't mean I've won the area. Right. So the cool aspect of this game, I'd say, if you've ever played uh, the app Marvel Snap, mm. it's the board game equivalent, finally. <laughs> um, but I actually like it better because it's I like sci-fi and fantasy the theme games. So like a card by Infernia, I have a dragon. Yep. And, and the art's real cool. I mean, they did a... Yeah, the art is jump. beautiful. It has Funny. cool characters and things. And so, I mean, it's straightforward deck builder with crazy awesome timing if you ever played land air and sea i think as well as another deck builder game um that you could associate this with so it's a lot of fun so definitely check it out and yeah let us know what you think and what your favorite faction 
fantasy faction would be elves. I love elves. That's my thing. Or dragons. Jason? Um, so I would say uh, gnolls. Gnolls? No. Like norwals? No, gnolls. I don't know what a gnoll is. Those little creature ground. Oh. You know, a mice. Tides. A mouse. Yeah. You know, like real cheapy. A little stabby. Okay. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Let us know. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check you next time.